Today's Daily Dose of Math is an exercise about equivalent fractions. But this is asked in a little bit of a different way. For each of the following fractions, find the value of x which makes the two fractions equivalent. Looking at the green example, I'm going to show how to do this using cross multiplication. The question is asked in a way that allows us to build a proportion. 5 over 2 has to be equal to 30 over something, and we're going to solve for that something. Cross multiplying, top times bottom equals bottom times top. So 5 times x, which is 5x, is equal to 2 times 30. We simplify the right side, 5x equals 60, because 2 times 30 is 60. And then we want to isolate our x, so since it's being multiplied by a 5, we will divide both sides by a 5. These 5's cancel. Our x is isolated and is equal to 60 divided by 5, which is 12. We have our answer. The yellow example is the same as the green example, but I'm going to solve it in a different way. We know that to expand the fraction 5 over 2, so that it's 30 over something, we're turning our 5 into a 30. How do we get 5 to turn into a 30? We multiply it by 6. Therefore, we're also going to multiply the 2 by a 6. 2 times 6 is 12, so we have our answer. It's the same answer. There is more than one way of doing this, and the student can use the method that the student likes best. For the third example in blue, I'm going back to cross multiplication because it's my favorite method. Why? Because cross multiplication can be used for so many different types of math problems, like when we're converting units. Bottom times top equals top times bottom. So I have 4x equals 9 times 20. Notice how this time the x was in the top, but cross multiplication still works. We simplify the right side and we have 4x equals 180. We will divide both sides by 4 to isolate our x. These 4's cancel. x is isolated and is equal to 180 divided by 4, which is 45. We have our answer. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.